Hello there. Do you remember last time we spoke about eating good healthy food so that we can grow big strong muscles? Did you practice pulling a muscle? Clench your fist and pull hard. And feel how hard it is here. Feel that muscle that comes up. You must look for your muscles all over your body. Will you do that for me? We can't see them, but we can feel them all over your body. And I'm going to tell you something. Your face is so full of muscles. When you smile, like Sheila is doing now, when you smile, you use 17 muscles. One, seven, 17 muscles. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, that's a lot of muscles in our face, all around, in inside our cheeks, in our chin, around our nose, in our nose. Seventeen. That's a ten and a seven. Just to smile. And you know what? When we frown, mm, when we're not happy, we use 40 muscles. Oh, so when we're not happy and we're making frowny faces, we use so many muscles, 40 muscles. It's a lot of muscles. So don't you frown. Keep smiling. You only need 17 muscles to smile. So I want you to practice your exercising and we get to do a little bit of exercising later on. With Pollyanna, she's come to sit with me today to help you exercise. But first, I'm going to tell you a little story that you all know about the three little pigs. Here they are. At the beginning of the story, Mommy, Mommy Pig is saying goodbye to her three little piglets. One, two, three little piglets. And they're going off to seek their fortunes. Each little piglet has a bag or a packet or a sack where he's got some things that he needs, possibly his toothbrush. And some food. They're all eating some corn on the cob right now. And shame. They're crying. Mommy Pig is crying. And the three little pigs are crying too. They're very sad to leave home. But they are big enough now to leave home and go and find their own homes. Bye bye, Mommy, they said. Bye bye, Mommy. The first little pig. first little pig saw a man carrying a huge cartload of hay or straw. Can you see it? The oxen, two oxen are pulling it. And he stopped the farmer and he said, Farmer, please may I have some of your straw? I want to build a house. And the farmer said, Sure, little pig. I'll give you some straw. So the farmer gave the little pig some straw to build his house. The second little pig met a, far, a man, an old man, with a huge cartload of sticks. And the little pig said, Hello, old man. Please may I have some of your sticks? I would like to build a house. And the old man said, yes, with pleasure, little pig. And he gave him a lot of sticks so that he could build his house. Now the third little pig, he met a man, a builder with a huge truck carrying bricks. Can you see all the bricks at the back of the truck? There they are. And the pig stopped him and said, Sir, please may I have some of your bricks? I want to build a house. And the man said, yes, sure, I'll give you some bricks. So he gave the third little pig some bricks to build a house. 
and they rolled up their sleeves. They rolled up their sleeves. They got their muscles ready. And they started to build their houses. Here's the first little pig. He is building a house with his straw. Isn't it a sweet little house? There's the door. And he's climbed up a ladder and he's put all the straw together like a thatched house. And he's got string and he's pulling it tight. Oh, he needs lots of muscles to do that. He's made a beautiful little house. And the second little pig is making a beautiful little straw house. Not straw, sorry, a stick house. Look at his pile of sticks. And he's got a hammer and some nails and he's nailing all the nails hammering them into the wood to make himself a beautiful stick house he's also very strong and the third little pig he is building his brick house he's taken all the bricks that he got from the man and he's got his cement and he is cementing his bricks together to build the walls of his house. Look how high he has got already. And there he's got a little window already. And he is very strong to this little pig to build a house out of bricks. You need to be very, very strong. And the little pigs were so happy in their houses. They were very happy in their houses. Until one day, you know who arrived. Mm, we all know who arrived. That big bad wolf arrived. And he said to the first little pig, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig said, No, 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 no. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you come in. And the wolf said, I will huff and I'll huff and I'll blow your house down. And that's just what he did. Look at him. He went, Shh. he huffed and he puffed and he blew the little pig's straw house down. Oh my dear. The little pig ran off as fast as he could to his brother's house. Oh dear, what a naughty old wolf this is. And here he is again. He has found the little pig who built the stick house. Oh my goodness. And he said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig said, no, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin will I let you come in. And the wolf said, I huff and I puff and I blow your house down. And that's just what he did. He went, ah. And he blew the stick house down. The little pig ran as fast as he could to his other brother's house. But look at the wolf's cheeks. They are. Can you make big cheeks like that? When you huff and puff? Take it. He takes a deep breath of air. <gasps> Goodness me. And then he came to the third little pig's house made of stone. Stones made of bricks. And he said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig said, No, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, and I will not let you in. And the wolf said, Well, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he did that. He huffed and he puffed. His biggest huff and his biggest puff. And nothing happened. The house built of bricks stood firm. So he huffed and puffed again. He huffed and he puffed a second time and he blew his biggest puff. But nothing happened. The house still stood firm. Oh dear me, he can't blow it down. Now the little pig has to find a different way to get inside that house so that he can 
gobble up that little pig. So he decided to come down the chimney. Oh, and the little pig saw him. So the little pig quickly These houses are gone. The little pig quickly put a big cauldron of boiling water on the fire to get hot. Oh, because he knows the wolf is coming down the chimney. Oh, and then with a big splash, the wolf fell down the chimney into the pot, the cauldron of boiling water, and the little pig quickly put the lid on. And that was the end of the big bad wolf. No more huffing and puffing for him. Did you enjoy that story, my darlings? Yes. That's the story of the three little pigs. Now, we're going to sing a little song with Pollyanna. Pollyanna's going to help us. Okay. Because in the song, we have to do three things. We have to hop. Do you know how to hop? Hopping is on one leg only. Can you see Pollyanna's one leg? And the other leg is held up. See, it's held up. And she hops on her one leg. And then she skips. Do you know how you skip? You turn the skipping rope around and you jump. You turn the skipping rope around like this and you jump. And you all know how to jump. Come, Pollyanna, show them how they jump. Jump, 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 jump. Two feet right off the ground. Thank you, Pollyanna. Right. So listen to the music and listen to the words and see if you can do these three, these things. Hopping, skipping, and jumping. And remember when you hop, you only hop on one foot. You hold the other one up. Are you ready, my darlings? Here we go! When the music starts, everybody hop. Hoppity, hoppity, hop. Hoppity, hoppity, hop. We know you love to hop. Yes, we love to hop. The hop's about to stop when the music starts. Stop. Everybody skip. Everybody skip. Skippity, skippity, skip. Skippity, skippity, skip. Jump. The jump's about to stop when the music stops. Oh, 
done, my darlings. Goodbye. That's all for now. And I will see you next time. I love you.